right, so I was on Facebook and uh, an advertisement an advertisement from Tom Top popped up with this uh, little foldable uh, camera drone um, that is piloted by your cell phone. And I thought I'd give it a try. It's 40 bucks. Um, they advertise this as a uh, a Dobby, one of those selfie drone clones, but it's not really a clone. The only thing that it kind of clones is the maybe the shape a little bit and the fact that it folds out the props, but it does not have all the advanced features of a Dobby or a uh, Unique Breeze. It doesn't have GPS. It doesn't have return to home. It doesn't have any, you know, follow me or orbit modes. It's pretty much just a pocket drone that you can uh, control with your phone and, um, you know, take some video and photos with it. Um, if you watch the video, I can tell you right now, after playing with this, the video is uh, a big false advertisement. The uh, model in that video or the actress in that video makes it seem like this thing flies hands off or flies by itself. It does none of those things. It's actually not very, I mean, it's stable, but it doesn't hold its position well. Um, I tried to trim it out uh, as best I could, and I just couldn't get the thing to hold uh in place for a second to take even take a selfie or um, to take any kind of uh, controlled uh, video um, the video quality it also kind of false advertises this as uh, HD it's it's VGA at best I'll, I'll, I'll show you some video quality but um all in all uh, if you're looking for a, a, a cool little pocket drone um, for 40 bucks uh, this will fit the ticket um, the controls actually work pretty well it didn't help it didn't actually um, do too good because it's pretty breezy outside didn't do too good with any type of breeze um and it has gyroscopic stabilization i think it should have gyroscopic stabilization because it has gyros or actually gyro calibration but it does not hold its position as well as the uh jjrc h36 i love this thing you take your hands off the sticks and it will level itself out and even if it has a little bit of trim off it, it kind of doesn't move this thing is all over the place and then i was also actually not used to the the uh the control pad features of 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 a phone controlled uh quadcopter and the reason for that is because with a physical gimbal it locks itself in place you take your fingers off of it you put them back on it and it locks itself there with this um let's turn this on and i was trying to fiddle around with this and adjust the trims um i think the uh, touch points are off on this so as you can see it's not actually moving it so you actually kind of move it a little bit more and to get it to move but the thing about it is when you go back to put your hands on the sticks while you're trying to keep your eyes on this quadcopter um, you do that and it shoots off to the to whatever direction you touch the the control pad so while you're looking at the quadcopter you got to kind of look down to see if you're actually touching this in the center or if you catch it here you just got to compensate and fly out of it um so those are the things i didn't like it also has the accelerometer mode i didn't try that much i did try it but it, actually but i didn't try to fly around with it because it seemed like i had to go extreme to get it to to do anything so i just try to fly it around basic and like i said I'll, I'll, in a second i'll just put up some video of me flying it outdoors but other than that like i said for 40 bucks it works i googled online to see what you know what what's comparable out there uh for this type of quad i mean i got um i saw something on uh toys r us which was sort of a, a folding camera drone like this i mean it was 100 bucks so you know 40 bucks if you're interested in something like this um it's a good deal didn't come with much uh came with some instructions that i oh here they are little instruction manual came with a USB charger uh, a little felt cloth for carrying uh, back for carrying it around and a uh, 500 milliamp uh, 3.7 volt lithium polymer battery so let's get into some video of this thing outdoors and uh, let me show you how it flies okay so let's do a quick flight test with this thing let's see how well it flies a little bit of breeze out here the camera before like that all right so <clears throat> connection wise all you got to do is hit the power and you know if you can see it but you get some flashing lights go into your settings Wi-Fi select the quadcopter JJRC it is connected go back go to the app And hit the connect button and as you can see or maybe you can or can't you can see what is actually in the field of view of the camera so <clears throat> you got a couple settings here you got camera mode you got video record mode I'm gonna hit video record mode in a second just to make sure I turn it on um, but first let's take a picture with this thing
Okay. I'm going to set the record button just because I'll forget. All right, so you got a couple of different things here. This is for your files. This is your, your, your speed, your rate of uh, control, 60, 30, 100. I don't know if you can see that, 60, 30, 100. Um, this is to actually got turn on the controls. And this one is to activate it. So it's sort of like a fail sa or a, a safety device. So when that's not on, you can't start this thing. And when you turn it on, this button right here is supposed to be unlock, which means it starts the props up. This is auto land and this is emergency stop, which just kills it dead and it drops to the ground. So, <clears throat> like I said, let me get a little bit of flight in with it. Oh yeah, this is actually for your accelerometer use. So for accelerometer, we want to tilt the phone to control the quad. And that, as you can see, is to turn the controls off and on. Uh, this is actually another settings menu. For some reason, this flips the video if you hit reverse. Um, it's recording right now, so it's not going to reverse it. This is a uh, POV mode. This is a uh, heading lock, which I never use, and this calibrates the gyroscopes. Gyroscope. So now that it's sitting on the ground, I'm going to calibrate the gyroscopes. The lights are flashing on it. Don't know if you can see that. They're done. Turn that off. And we're going to launch it. And see what we can get. All right, here we go. Propeller spooled up, and right now it is not in accelerometer mode. It's in control. I got a little bit of a breeze here, so it's coming from the back, so I might push it away. But let's get off the ground and see how well it flies. Oh, talk too much. Let's do it again. Here we go. Right now it is in 100% rates, and it's pulling hard to one side, probably because of the breeze. Try to fix that with the trim. stabilize a little bit let's check that uh, altitude hole thing that they said this thing had let's press down on it see if it'll hold its place let's go here just take your hands off of it it kind of stabilizes it's really sensitive when it's uh when you got your hands on the sticks so I'm gonna get it down get it in front of me and right, let's put it right there let's see if it holds the altitude like it did on the video It does, but it floats away. Let's try it again. Yeah, but it wants to float away from you, so not a great idea, but the altitude hole does work. Alright, so I got it in 100% right now, and every time I touch the sticks, like I said, it, it, it jumps in the direction of wherever I touch the, the controls at. Because you can't take your hands off of it that, more, that, that long. Take your hands off of it. It'll float away from you. It's holding pretty good right there. Going around in a breeze a little bit, but let's fly it around a little bit, see what it flies like. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop. <laughs> I did not have that at all. No tail water control. So, here's your first crash. Hit the tree. 100% is a little bit sensitive. <laughs> so, let's uh, take it back to. Oh, let's go back here. Let's take it back to 60% this time. <sighs> okay. We'll take it to 60. And we're going to calibrate the gyros again. The gyros calibrated. It's a little breezy right here, so it's kind of hard to keep it in in one place. Let's launch it. Okay, 60. Calmed it down a little. Get away from me. Let's see. It's the yaw that's a little bit sluggish. Like it works, but you gotta kind of like, you can't pilot it straight through. Like right now, it's having trouble fighting the breeze. So when I come to the, it's kind of coming from the back, and when the breeze kicks up, it pushes it away from me. Let's 
Get it out here a little. It's fighting the breeze. Probably not the best day to test this because the breeze is just a little bit too strong for it. Alright, so I'm going to bring it in. It flies pretty good. It's fighting the breeze right now. When I take my hands off of it, I think because the trims are off. When I try to trim it for the breeze, it's, it's pulling them a little bit hard. I'm trying to fight it, but it flies decent. It takes a little bit of practice to get used to it. It's holding steady right now. So let's see what it does if you hit this uh, auto land thing. Let's just hit it. Hit the auto land button. I gotta, gotta pilot it through it, but it came down pretty, pretty slow. So, final thoughts. Um, like I said, for 40 bucks, uh, if you want to give this to a kid, it's not a bad deal. It's a decent deal, I guess. Um, when it when the wind wasn't actually pushing um, as hard as it was, it actually flew quite well. I played with it in the living room. It actually, if you, like I said, if there's no breeze, it kind of holds its position. It actually has an altitude hold like it said it did, but it's just controlling it or trying to keep it steady you, to do a selfie or something like that. It's pretty hard to do. Um, and unless you're a, a good pilot where you know how to you know, kind of control nose in, you're not really going to use this as a selfie drill, right? So you're pretty much going to fly it around. I, I crashed it two or three times. Um, very durable. Didn't break anything. Oh, I also forgot. It comes with a, a full set of extra propellers. So if you do break off a propeller, you got a full set of four propellers to go. And just because I don't feel like doing the editing on a video, let's go and look at some of the video quality from when I was flying it earlier. Let's see kind of how it flies and what it looks like. Like I said, it's VJ at best. Um, and it actually kind of records directly to the phone um, and not to an SD card. So you get those little... Um, data transfer, digitalization, pixelization things that pop up when you when you're kind of going losing signal a little bit. But other than that, like I said decent quality, decent quality quadcopter. It's very light, very plastically plasticky, um, not heavy. I, I had to kill the props on it a couple times because uh, it just got away from me. I had it 100 percent. And one thing that I don't, I didn't like about it is um, the tail. So the yaw with at least for me just because i haven't had the practice with i'm pretty sure if you practice with this you'll get a lot better at it than i am i did this in like you know half an hour three or four charges on the battery the yaw rate did not keep up with the pitch or actually the roll rates so i mean when you go left and right and then you're supposed to give it a little bit of tail to give it to turn the tail did not turn with the quad so what ha what happened is i would understeer or I would hit the the, the, the the yaw too much, just maybe because I'm not used to the touchpad controls, it would spin all the way around. Kind of hard to control, but I mean, after playing with it a couple of times, I, I got, the, got the hang of it. Uh, would I buy it um, for myself? No, probably not, because if I were looking for something like this, um, and I'm still waiting for my DJI Mavic, but something that's uh, like uh, a little less expensive than the Mavic, the Dobby at five is a little bit expensive, but it has um, a lot of features that I would actually use, like a 4K camera, super high resolution, super high resolution video, and I would actually take that on vacation with me and try to get some decent aerial shots with it. This you're not going to get any aerial shots with it. Like I said, it's just for kids to fly around and have something to, to you know show their friends the video of. Um, and the, you, you got to be a pretty experienced pilot to kind of control it so that you can actually get decent video out of it. So. This is more like your uh, oh, air, air hogs type uh, quadcopter, I guess. You know, something that's um, inexpensive for kids and will give them, you know, a little bit of fun um, and experience with uh, piloting or flying a quadcopter. So, I mean, that's my opinion of it. Um, I, I give it, out of 10, I'd give it a, a 6 um, just for what it is. Um, like I said, it's very durable. I've crashed a couple of times with the bushes. I had to kill the props on it. Continue to work. Um, little, I, I take away a lot of points because uh, JJRC kind of false advertises this on their on their um, on their on their video there. So while you think you if you're new to quadcoptering, you're gonna think you're gonna get something uh, high tech and advanced, and you're just gonna get a basic pocket quadcopter with uh, low res video. So uh, hopefully you like this video. If you do, give me a thumbs up. And guess what, guys? Um, let's say around January first, I am going to give this quadcopter away. I'm never going to play with it again. I'm not going to fly it, so I'm going to put it back in the box on January 1st. I'm going to give it away. So all you got to do is uh, be a subscriber so that I can track you down and uh, leave a comment so that I know that you uh, watched the video and um, you are uh, 
I guess, enrolled to, to kind of win this thing. And it's going to be just a random pick. Uh, thanks for watching the video. I'll get back to you. Bye.